seasons now, it'll be, I think, in charge and ready to go for another one. Any doubt that you didn't want to do it or you're 100% ready to go? Look, I think at the end of every season, you self-analyse and think about uh, where you're at individually, but clearly where the group's at. And um, over the off-season and um, the start of the pre-season, thought about um, that a bit and, and discussed it with some, some people at the club and, and with Lauren. And um, I was willing to commit again, but you obviously need that ratified by the broader playing group and in the voting process. And, um, and that was done. So, yeah, happy to take on the role again and extremely honoured to do so. I'm sure for you now it's second nature, but how much commitment does that role take, aside from just being a footballer, the captaincy? Yeah, I mean, being an AFL footballer, it's an all-the-time thing. It's not a some-of-the-time thing. And as a captain, it's even more of an all-the-time thing. And, um, you know, you need to make sure your own game is in order, but be able to influence and assist your other teammates as well and, and handle the other commitments that it comes along with it. So. Um, once I'd made that decision and uh, once the boys uh, had the full support of the group, um, it was a, a no-brainer from that sense. But yeah, clearly it, it took some self-analysing um, uh, as well to make sure that that was the, the right decision for us all. Do you think that at some point you'd like to play maybe a year or two without the captaincy towards the end of your career? Or I'm, I'm not really um, in that mind of thinking. I, I don't um, really subscribe to that theory. Um, you know, the leader's the leader, really, or the leaders are the leader, leaders within a, a footy club. And um, I'm, I'm not really thinking that far ahead, to be but, frank. Sorry, but for someone like Brent Harvey, who's playing great footy since he stepped down, that, that still could be an option for you. Brent and I are pretty different players. Uh, he's going to play to he's about 40, I think. So I, I understand, you know, and acknowledge that that, you know, for, for other players in the AFL that that's happened, but um, yeah, I'm not thinking too far ahead really. If you do go on and play most of the season, you could be in the top 10 for the most games by a captain in AFL history. Is that something, all those sort of uh, accolades? Never thought of it, no, yeah. no. But look, you know, I guess it is nice. It's not something that you think about when you first start playing, but it uh, hasn't come into the consideration. Matthew, I think you said at the end of last season I haven't had that discussion with, with Ross um, or our strength and conditioning guys or our doctors um, about that. Um, I'm sure if we're afforded that position, it might come up. But yeah, it, uh, again, at this point in time, it's not a consideration. How are you feeling physically through this process? Yeah, good. Yeah, I've, um, I've been able to do a large amount of work, which has been obviously pretty arduous in the weather and, and, uh, and also with the amount of work that the guys are putting into us. Um, yeah, look, it's, it's hard work. and. Um, you know, I'm a part of all of that with the, the broader playing group. How's the group planning to approach the two NAB Challenge games, particularly given you finished so late last year? In what regard? Are you, are you going in full bore, planning to win them and win, the, win those games and head in with momentum, or are you going to experiment in, in different ways? Oh, look, I think every game you play as, a, as, as players, you're just out there to compete fiercely and as soon as you cross the white line, you want to win. So it will be no different to any other game of competitive footy. Um, but yeah, clearly, having started the, the pre-season a bit later and the year a bit later, it'll mean that we might be slightly off the pace, but um, it won't be by virtue of holding ourselves back. We'll be going hell for leather. Do you expect to play both or one? Uh, hasn't been discussed. Um, look, oh, yeah, I mean, at this point of the year, you're just trying to meet every session and every demand that the strength and conditioning guys are, and the coaches are throwing at you. So it um, sounds like one week at a time, but it's literally one session at a time because it's so, so arduous and so challenging this time of the year, um, you're just getting yourself up for the next session. So thinking that far ahead, uh, to be frank right now, is, is too hard. We don't see a lot of training, we see that one week, but it seems like when we have seen it, you and Sandy are both doing everything from what we can tell. Is that the case or are you being held out on other days? Or? Uh, generally speaking, yeah, the, the more senior players are in most of the drills, but um, where we can be managed, we, we are, um, but generally speaking, we're doing most of the footy training and that includes you know, Luke and a few other senior players as well. Every year you talk a little bit about improvements, you know, improving over time for you in specific this off season. I think in general, that, you know, if you're not looking to improve, then you should really move on and, and, and think about giving the game away. Um, the game doesn't sit still and, and neither can you, so even at uh, my age, 
and, and my experience, there's always little improvements, whether it's body positioning, um, you know, small increments in your fitness, whatnot, um, you know, understanding the game plan. Um, every opportunity you can, you, you've got to improve because everyone will go past you otherwise. And, and a lot of talk about your weight last year, up, down, you know, are you happy with, with your strength? Last year? Well, the year before, I suppose, maybe. Yeah, okay. Well, you lost four kilos and, you know, we've talked about a lot. Are you happy with um, Yeah, look, I'm, I'm probably the same as I've been for the last two or three seasons. Um, nothing's really altered from that perspective. So um, just trying to get some small changes within the, the strength program. and That's a carton, isn't it? Yeah, it's not wrong. <laughs> yes, we're definitely. <laughs> not for me, for you guys. So. Yeah. Um, trying to make small changes and, and, you know, I've obviously had plenty of uh, surgery at the end of last season and, and even into last season. So just managing that aspect um, a bit more. Just going back to that, sort of that earlier question about how long, how long did it take for you to sort of decide the captain said that's it, you want to forget? Oh, I look, I can't put a time frame on it. Um, you know, at the end of the year when you get a bit of downtime and a bit of think time, you, you sort of um, jot some things down and you know, I spoke to Lauren about it and, and then um, you know, we started getting back into training and you have the conversations with Ross and, and Bondi and a few other people, but really the, the decision, um, can't be made until you get the, the full support from the playing group and, and that ratified from them. So um, that being the case, only a short time ago.